What's going on everybody? It's Georgia Bulldog Will here and right now the Chicago Bulls and the Atlanta Hawks are in overtime in Atlanta. The Bulls just got up two points for goaltending now. Here's Bogdanovich now for the Hawks. Capella setting the screen. Here's Bo Bogey. Passes out. Trey Young. He drives in. He puts it up. Alley-oop to Capella. He puts it in and it's a tied ball game at 112. See, the, Bull, the Chicago Bulls and the Atlanta Hawks are in overtime right now. Hawks need to win this game. Levine for three. No good. Rebound Capella. And then he gave it to Forrest. And so now Forrest gave it to Young. Here's Young. Guarded by Levine. Driving in. Gives it to Bogey. Bogey. Guarded by Levine. What's Bogey going to do? He's going to pull from three. He'll hit! Bogdan Bogdanovich puts the Hawks ahead by three. 115-112. What are the Bulls going to do in response? Bogdanovich has 26 points. Now he's guarding Levine. And the drive is no good. And Trent Forrest coming up with a nice block. Bogdanovich passes it back to, to Young. Hawks up by three with 3.15 remaining in overtime. Young going around. That is tipped up in the air. Levine trying to get it. He doesn't get it. And then the Bulls take it away. Here's DeRozan. DeRozan driving. Pump fake. Here's Drummond. Here's Levine. Guarded by Forrest. Levine pulling it up for three. Off the rim, no good. An easy rebound for Bogdanovich. Under three minutes to left in overtime. Here's Trey Young going down the court for the Hawks. Three point lead for the Hawks. Capella trying to set a screen. Bounce pass to Capella. Bounce pass to Bogdanovich. He takes the dribble. Didn't take the three. Now he puts up a circus shot and it goes in. Unbelievable shot. As he was going out of bounds, he puts it over the backboard and it splashes down. DeRozan, DeRozan in trouble, picks it out. Levine driving in, Levine throws it down. And it's a three point game, but what a shot by Bogdanovich, unbelievable. Hawks still up by three, two minutes remaining in overtime. Young taking his time. Got him on the shot clock, though. Pass over to Bogdanovich. He puts it up for three. Off the rim, no good. And the Bulls get the rebound. Here's DeRozan. DeRozan up against Griffin. Kicks it out. Levine driving in. And he dunks it in again. It is a one-point game. 117-116 Atlanta. A minute and a half remaining in overtime. Atlanta 117, Chicago 116. Here's Trey. Bounce pass to Capella. And he puts it in, making it a three point game again. Great pass by Young. And Capella puts in the floater, rolls it in. Oh, Young kind of got hit by DeRozan there as he was defending him. Here's Levine for three. No good. Rebound Forrest. And gives it to Trey. Approaching the last minute of overtime. Hawks 119, Bulls 116. Here's Trey. Driving, corner. Corner three, Bogdanovich. Off the rim, no good. Rebound to uh, Forrest. Kick down to Young. What a rebound by Forrest. Trey Young. Got him on the shot clock, a deep three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound to the Bulls. Here's DeRozan with 30 seconds remaining in overtime. A three will tie it. Pass in. Here's a corner three for the Bulls, and it's good. Tied ball game at 119. Oh, my goodness. This has been an unbelievable game. The shot clock is off now. We are approaching the last 15 seconds of overtime. Chicago and Atlanta tied at 119. State Farm Arena is getting loud. We are going to the last few seconds of overtime. We're just going to go down on the wire. Five, four, three. Here's Young. 
puts it up. And makes it with one second left. Trey Young puts the Hawks up by two. Timeout Chicago. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And now they're playing the Hay song. You want to go outside? I don't know. Never mind, but what a shot. A fadeaway by Trey Young. Puts it in with a second left. And he's ice cold, isn't he? Ice, ice Trey is in the house. Let's go, baby. One second left. The Bulls need a three to win and a two to send it to a double overtime. I remember... About four years ago, I think it was four, no, it was three years ago. Three years ago in the month of March, the Bulls and the Hawks played to a quad, played to a quadruple overtime and the Bulls beat the Hawks. It was a crazy game. I remember that game. It was March 1st of 2019 and a crazy game in Atlanta as the Bulls beat the Hawks in quadruple overtime. I've seen the Hawks go into quadruple overtime two times. First time was against the Knicks. Second time was the Bulls. They beat the Knicks and they lost to the Bulls. Um, this year the Hawks are what? 2-0 and in overtime, I think? It said they're 2-0 and in overtime. I'm not sure they beat in overtime. They didn't beat Denver. That was regulation. What can Zach Levine and the Bulls do with a second remaining in overtime? That is still plenty of time to get a shot off. The Hawks need to defend. Defend the paint. Defend the three-point line. Defend the three-point line. You've got to, you got to defend all areas. Dragic to inbound for the Bulls. Jalen Johnson's in the game. And now a timeout, Atlanta. Oh, no, no. Chicago calls their final timeout. So Chicago has no timeouts remaining, while the Hawks have two. Here's Bogdanovich. This is an unbelievable game. Also, we got a new commentator in the booth. He's, he's filling in for Bob Rathbun while Bob Rathbun is recovering from his uh, illness. This is uh, Mike Morgan. He's a really good announcer. I like Mike Morgan. So we still got a few guys injured. John Collins, he's still injured. DeJounte Murray, he's injured. Um, yeah, those guys, it's, it'll, it'll be great to have those guys back. Trey Young, he's in the game. Onyeko Kongwu is celebrating his 22nd birthday. Happy birthday, Onyeka. Look at this shot by Bogdanovich. Falling away out of bounds over the backboard and in. That was the crazy. It was like, um, remember Clint Capella's shot in the playoffs? I'm not sure if it was against Milwaukee or Philadelphia or maybe in New York. I'm not sure who it was, but it was one of the craziest shots I've ever seen in the, in the history of basketball, along with the one I just saw there. Because um, that was a great playoff run by the Hawks. This is a, this is, this should be a good. This is so far a, a pretty good season for the Hawks. Trey Young's not in the game. Jalen Johnson, Bogdanovich. I think that's Forrest, Holiday, and Capella in for the Hawks. Here's Dragic to inbound. Gives it to DeRozan. A turnaround three. No good. They call a foul. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. They called. That's twice now that they've called it in desperate situations. As the time expired, they call a foul, and that should be three free throws. Then if so, then that's it. Then the game's over. Oh, apparently not. Then the game's not over. Let's see here. Oh, there's still time. Yeah, there's like three-tenths of a second left on the clock. So then that means DeRozan's going to have three free throws. No. If you don't knock down the first free throw, you have to get the second two. There's five, they, they, they put five-tenths of a second on the clock. DeMar DeRozan to win the game for the Bulls if he makes all three free throws. And now... Atlanta calls a timeout, I believe. No? Yes? No? Still arguing. 
And now Nate McMillan wants an explanation. And here's DeRozan at the line. If he makes all three free throws, he's potentially won the game for the Bulls. If he doesn't make one, then this game's going to go to a double overtime. DeRozan makes the first one, 121 to 120. He's got to make the second and third one. Desperate free throws for the Bulls. DeRozan to tie the game. Here it is. Got it. Game tied at 121. If he makes this, the Bulls have the lead and have potentially and have potentially won this game. This is a desperate free throw right here. Both teams are holding their breaths. Both teams holding their breaths to see what will happen. Jalen Johnson. Who's in the game for Atlanta? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What are they looking at? What is going on? What is going on? What what is going on? This to pretty much win the game for the Bulls. DeRozan. Three of three. Got it. Bulls up by one with five tenths of a second remaining. Can the Hawks pull off some magic? If not, the Bulls have won this game. And that would suck. But again, I think we do. I think we meet the Bulls again in this month, I believe. I think around Christmas we'll be meeting the Bulls again. But uh, I can't believe this. Catch and shoot, something, some miracle. I mean, I. Yeah, I want to see another. I, yeah, give me another look at this foul. I want to take a look. All right, let me see this here. Right, here's the inbound by Dragic. All right, here's DeRozan with Bogdanovich. Yeah, on the elbow and then the hand. And so they call it there, and that's where they get the three the fr three free throws. Five tenths of a second. Hawks have one timeout. It's got to be some sort of catch and shoot or else the Bulls win. Catch and shoot. Catch a lob, Clint Capella. It's like um, it's like um, Josh Smith, the jam follow, where he, where Joe Joe Johnson missed the shot, and then Josh Smith Josh Smith comes in and he throws it down, and the Hawks won that game. It was unbelievable. Ten, a, five tenths of a second remaining. Chicago one twenty two, Atlanta one twenty one. What can the Hawks do? Catch and shoot, basically. No, Capella's not on the freaking... He's not even on the court. This is going to be some crazy stuff. Something like this. Somebody's just got to get in there and freaking do something. Yeah, you're done. And the Hawks will have to call a timeout now, so... No, yeah, not a, not a soul was open on that on that inbound. Before, before the ball was inbounded. Ridiculous, man. Nobody open. Bogdanovich, not open. Griffin, not open. Johnson, not open. Holiday, not open. Nobody's open. It's ridiculous. December 30th. Yes, we played the Lakers at home. Lakers are a struggling. Well, they won. They won tonight, but they're having a kind of a struggle season right now. But uh, I think they should start getting uh, better soon. Hopefully. <sighs> All righty. They're, they're discussing this. The assistant coaches discuss drawing up the play here. Well, Capella, uh, is he even on the court? No, it's like Okongwu's going on. Trey's coming on. Bogdanovich. Oh, Johnson's going to inbound. There's Trey, Holiday, Bogdanovich, Griffin. Johnson, Young, 
Holiday. Some craziness. Go inside a lot. Oh my god! Oh my god! The Hawks win! The Hawks win! AJ Griffin at the buzzer! Are you kidding me? You have got to be kidding me! The Hawks beat the Bulls 123 to 122 in overtime! An unbelievable shot by AJ Griffin. The Bulls are in complete shock. Nobody, everybody is in complete shock right now. They got an inbounds and Griffin just put it up immediately and he scored. Unbelievable finish in Atlanta tonight. The Hawks win 123 to 122. Unbelievable. Here it is. The lob by Johnson. Here's Griffin. He catches it. He puts it right up and it goes right in. Unbelievable. What a shot. Are they reviewing it? They're not. They don't need to review it. He got it off in time. Did he? Let's see. Hold on. Oh, yeah. He got it off with a... With one-tenth of a second left, he got it off. I'm just going to make sure that it is true and that he did, that it is a basket. I don't think they're reviewing it, are they? Unbelievable. A.J. Griffin out of Duke University puts it up and scores a game winner. That's another game winner. That's two now for Griffin in overtime. He did it against Toronto, and now he's done it against Chicago. Well, yeah, it's official because he's being interviewed in the post game. Unbelievable. And here come his teammates. DeAndre Hunter. Unbelievable finish. I'm closing it out, guys. Unbelievable finish in Atlanta tonight. The Atlanta Hawks defeat the Chicago Bulls 123 to 122 in overtime. Unbelievable. I'll see you guys later. And go Hawks.